Hi there, I'm Maxim Luft and in this video I will walk you through Millennium French Organ. Last year we went to Aix-en-Provence to record this instrument built in 2006. The result is a contact library with a large palette of sounds and includes five mic positions which makes it perfect for film scoring. So let's dive right into the library. So when you open the library for the first time, you will see the main menu. On the left, there's the mod wheel to control high frequencies, and on the right, we have our microphone positions. Under these controls, you can select the registrations, and they go from the softest ones at the bottom up to the loudest ones at the top. Now, here's how that sounds. With this organ we have three divisions, Grand Orgue, Positive and Pedalier. You can activate or deactivate any of them by clicking on these circles. Now let me play with the Grand Orgue, which is the powerful and primary section of the organ. The finale of Camille Saint-Saëns' Organ Symphony, for instance, is a great piece to show it in action. Now we have the positive, which in English would translate to the choir organ. This is the more delicate division of the organ and is ideal for those nuanced moments in your music. Let me illustrate it by playing one of the most iconic passages in the organ repertoire. And finally, we have the pedalier, which will translate to the pedals. This is the bass backbone of any organ piece, providing depth and gravity. Now, it can sound both mellow, also very powerful, depending on the registration you pick. So here I'm selecting a rather mellow sounding one. And here another one which definitely has a much stronger sound. Now by combining specific registrations together you can achieve quite unique sounds. And to make it even easier to get inspired we made 25 snapshot presets. So let's play through some of those and let's start with a soft strings preset. For that, I play the beginning of Adagio for Strings by Samuel Barber. Let's see how that sounds. Now let's explore the Interstellar Voyage preset. So this one is in homage to the film's iconic organ sound. We've used specific Bourdon stops and gave it a distant feel by reducing the spot microphones. Next up, Versailles solo, showcasing the cornet's very unique timbre, and for that I'll play some simple arpeggios to give an idea of how it sounds. And now let's dive into the preset called Epic Toccata Fortissimo, 
This one is heavily inspired by one of Bach's most famous works for the organ, the Toccata and Fugue in D minor. Let me play the very well known beginning of this piece. Staying with Bach inspirations, let's explore another preset called Bach's Fugue Essence. With this one, I will showcase the different mic positions of the library as we use various pairs of Neumann, Schöps and Audio-Technica microphones. Let's dive into the advanced menu. So with the release tabs on the left, you can control the amount of natural reverberation and I'll play some arpeggios to show how the room can sound much smaller. Next to it, we have a built-in reverb, which has been designed to give the whole sound a dreamy texture, if you like. A good example of how these settings can also transform the sound is the Discovery Flute preset. This one is inspired by Daft Punk's iconic flute sound in their album Discovery, and this intentionally sounds like a synthesizer, but also shows how versatile the library is. Now with Enable Layering, you've got a really powerful feature there. So with this, you can combine multiple registrations within the same division. So let's come back to that preset and combine the plein jeu and petit jeu from the positive. First, I play them individually, and then I'll activate the option to blend them together. So the pleasure is rather bright and has a lot of presence in the higher frequency range. Now let's play with the petit jeu. And this one has a more concentrated sound towards the lower mid-range, so now let's combine these two together. Here with the Niente when module done option, you can fade sounds in and out. So basically, when your module is at zero, sounds can emerge from silence, and it's very easy to do these kinds of big crescendo effects. For that, I'll take the Epic Toccata preset and remove the trumpet. And to increase the dramatic feel, I will extend the playable range for the lower notes. So now let's listen to what you can do with this. Let's move forward to the Performance tab, and this leads me to telling a bit more about the making of the library. We recorded these samples together with organist John Belanguier, who put all his expertise into this project, and we were very lucky to have him on board with his own microphone setup. Now, once the library became playable, 
he suggested adding a bit more life to the virtual organ. First, we didn't have enough noise at the start of every sample, so we introduced the fixed latency to bring some of that noise back in. And secondly, as real organs have a slight random delay, we implemented that as well. You can of course bypass these settings by putting them at zero. Now under the latency settings, you can also adjust the volume for each division. I'll play an excerpt from Maurice Muskowski's Etude to show this feature, and let's select another set of stops for the Grand Talk. So there you have it, the Millennium French organ. It's NKS ready, made for the free contact player and is ideal for film scoring. Built in 2006, this organ has an exceptional, crystal clear sound and we can't wait to hear it in your next soundtracks. So go ahead, explore and create. Until next time, bye bye.